here to Gabby this afternoon. We have, hello, we have been joined today by two of the cast of Witness for the Prosecution, which is currently running down at London County Hall. Welcome. Can we hear a bit, bit, bit? <laughs> Down in this most amazing venue. Tell us a bit about it. Oh, thank you. Uh, it's um, yes, County Hall, the ex uh, Greater London Council headquarters on the South Bank, opposite, almost opposite Parliament, next to St Thomas's Hospital. Extraordinary building, dates from the early 20th century, and we are actually performing in the debating chamber, uh, which is a very grandiose and rather oppressive uh, uh, venue. Lots of enormous uh, marble panels and pillars and uh, all sorts of things and you get to come in and sit down and you sit in very very comfortable leather seats which almost make you go to sleep but we our acting keeps you awake well sometimes, <laughs> sometimes hopefully if, yeah, we try and, if, if the acting doesn't work we shout and stand by and um, Soon wakes everybody up. let fireworks off and things like that and uh, yes it's a very it's a u utterly unique venue in that sense and um, very immersive. You get to sit next to uh, William Charb if you're in seat A24, I yeah, think it is. Is that right? right? And you yeah. get next, you get to sit next to some old idiot called uh, Jasper Britton if you sit in seat A2. Um, and if you're very well behaved, he sometimes gives you a glass of water. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And I did. I high fived three little kids last night in the front row of the Cone Call because they behaved so brilliantly well all the way through. They were lovely. They were so into it. Um, I think it's your turn to say something. Okay. Um, oh, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and um, what else is there to say? So it's just going into the second year. Yes. It's had a, like phenomenal success, hasn't it? And considering that it's set in the 50s, and it really is, you know, it, it's been around for a long time, but Agatha Christie's stuff really has sort of had a resurgence. Why? Why do you think that is? I just think the uh, stories are so entertaining, um, and I think especially with the venue being in the chamber, it, a lot, it really brings it to life. And I feel like the, it, the play works so well in that space. Um, and I, I guarantee if you come to watch it, you'll be still surprised. It, everybody that's been to see it, you know, that's why it's so enjoyable because um, it's classic Christie. And you are sitting in the courtroom, you are part of the proceedings. And it is a whodunit. Um, but we're not going to give you any spoilers, are we, Jasper? No, no. Not like no, you did just no, now, just before we went on camera. It. And I'm like, no, I haven't seen it. No, stop. I wouldn't dream of it. Last night, when the, when the jury were, were, uh, were doing their verdict, there's a few seconds where the jury uh, assembled all their pieces of paper with uh, what they reckon the prisoner uh, is. And um, I leaned to my neighbours and I said, what do you think? And they said, what's your verdict? You know, And they said, oh, oh he's... I thought, fool. Ha, 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 little do you know, little do you know. So who do you play? Um, I'm the uh, I'm the barrister for the defence, uh, uh -huh. the counsel for the defence, Sir Wilfred Robarts, who's a bit of a madman, he's a bit of a nutcase, throws his wig in the air, comes in shouting uh, Latin words, and um, is generally quite rude to his guest. But you soon see another side when you realise he is actually a professional, but he's a bit of a maverick, I think. And Emma? And I play Romaine Vole, who is the wife of Leonard Vole, who's been accused of murder. 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 <laughs> and she's evil. Is she? Not just, not just as, no, I mean, don't just as in general, just in general, life, in real life. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about all the characters. Yeah. Uh, properly evil, properly evil to work with. I don't mean the characters, the characters love me. <laughs> it's the wig. Um, so, for people that, that don't know much about it, why why should they come and see the show? What 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 does it have got that no nothing else in the West End has? Well, Ooh. apart from us two, I mean, uh, <laughs> apart, uh, anything else in the West End? Well, it's got well the venue for one. Yeah, it's it's so immersive. Um, yeah, I. The only other Agatha Christie you can see, I believe, is the Mouse Trap. At the moment, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Uh, 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 it's got it's got Christopher Ravenscroft in it, and it's got William Chubb, and it's got Richard Banks, and Ewan Stewart, 
and people like that. Uh, uh, it's got a fantastic cast, an extraordinary cast, a really lovely cast of people, one of the best I've ever worked yeah, with. Yeah, everybody's super nice. We're having such a, it's gone so quickly because we're having such a good yeah. time. Yeah, it's and it, I mean, she, you know, she really is the master of of, of, of creating yeah. tension, as yeah. well, isn't she? You know, and and you, you know, you, you're on a roller coaster, and as you say, right up until the end, you think, well, um, mm, yeah, mm, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, all the people that I know that've been to see say to me, oh, it just goes so quickly because she has you gripped. Um, so I think it's just super entertaining. It's a great night out. It's a good escapism, which is exactly what you want from the theatre. Okay, um, just one more question. We have a lot of followers that are aspiring actors and young actors. Mm -hmm. How did you guys get into the business and do you have any uh, um, advice for them? How long have you got? <laughs> <laughs> Don't. <laughs> uh, how did I get? It took me seven years to get my first acting job. I did three years dispatch writing, then I did three years as an ASM, ended up as a technical ASM. Jonathan Miller's sound designer and operator at the Old Vic Theatre with ha ha having had very, very little experience. <laughs> Lying helped me to get <laughs> jobs. Um, and then um, Jonathan gave me my first acting job uh, year, the following, in his following season because I left and went to work for the BBC World Service as a newsreader at Continuity Announce and he was, he, he found it difficult to sleep at nights. and. Um, I would see you. I'd go back and see my colleagues at the Old Vic and uh, I bumped into him in the corridor and he'd say, uh, yes, I was listening to Radio Newsweek last night. You had a bit of difficulty saying Kashishnov Skushinsky. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 4.23 in the morning. <laughs> yes, but it's pretty easy. Kashishnov Skushinsky. Kashishnov Skushinsky. All that. Um, yeah, so that's potted. Potted fish. Take the That's risk, amazing. always yeah. take the yeah. risk. I actually phoned him up direct because my agent couldn't get me an audition. So I phoned the stage door and the stage doorkeeper said, I will put you through, I'm not allowed to, but um, if anybody asks you who put you through, tell them I'd gone for a, a pee and the fireman was covering <laughs> And uh, you, you, you said, oh, just in. put me through to Jonathan, it's important. Yeah, and uh, so that's oh, how wow. I got an audition. Yeah. So it's luck, isn't it? And being in the room and, you know, persistence. If it, yes, and if the door doesn't open, bash it down. Yeah. I know it's easy to say, but there are opportunities to do so. Yeah. yeah. I think it's doing as much as you can, um, you know, always practicing and always performing. I think that's really important. Don't wait, maybe, you know, write in your own stuff. I um, I started, I desperately wanted to go to a Brooklyn to have gone to Sylvia Young's like, stage school, and um, we couldn't afford it, but I, I used to do dancing competitions and someone spotted me, I did a song and dance, and, they were like, oh, next week I have an audition for Hollyoaks, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah. And then that's how. That's so, it. Yeah. And um, it's so nice to be finally getting to do some theatre. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, so Witness for the Prosecution is running at London County Hall. Uh, I suggest that you go down and watch it. I'm going to go and watch it next week. Woo! 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 I'm excited. If you want to get tickets, I've put a, um, a link in the post so you can click straight on there and get your tickets from us. But for now, oh, and have any questions for these beautiful pair here uh, we are going to be answering questions over on our Instagram so head over there now you can ask uh, ask away and in the meantime thank you so much for coming in it's been an absolute pleasure to see you thank and you I will us. see you in court see you in court see you in court thanks everyone Bye -bye. Bye -bye.